Well hey there folks and welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here. Uh, time for another beer review. Um, and believe it or not, I've not actually recorded a beer review for about two or three weeks now. Um, I put one up recently, one that I did a few weeks back. That was uh, our Beer Wars of the Three Citra Beers. So go check that out on the channel. In fact, if you're new to this channel, go on, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like, share and subscribe to this channel. It's the Hop House. We like hoppy beer, we like good house music. Simple as that. So, yeah, I've been away for a few weeks. What's happened? Well, I got married. Sorry, ladies, I'm taken. Yeah, right. Like, like you were interested. Um, so yeah, I went and got married. We had a wonderful day. Uh, got married locally here in Telford in Shropshire where I live. And then we went away on honeymoon, little mini moon in this country, back to the Cotswolds. Never been to that part of the country before. Saw some beautiful places. And um, we also had two nights in Cheltenham in which I had some fantastic beer. Yes, I visited Daya Brewing Company or Daya Brewery. Craft beer, it, very high up in the craft beer echelon. Uh, kind of a bit out of my budget, I thought, but um, it was on my tick list. So while we're in Cheltenham, I managed to convince the other half to go. Uh, so we did, we went to uh, went to Daya Brewing and I tried a couple of their beers. And you know what, I bought a couple of cans to review. So watch out for that. Should we get on with this review? What we're going to do today, let's do it. Okay, so um, I did a video previously about a uh, local brewery up in Yorkshire. Uh, a gift pack that I actually got when I was up there back in November, December 2019, and I left them up there at my mum's house. So it's uh, Ainsty Ales is the name. So this is the first beer out of the four pack that I got. This is Ainsty Ales, are based on the outskirts of York, and this is their Flummoxed Farmer, and it's 4% Blonde Ale. It's in a 330 milliliter can. So uh, there's, I think, they're all, all four of them are 330ml cans. I think it cost me about £10 for the four pack or something like that. Uh, it was in a cute little box. Uh, and it's uh, brewed within the York Wapentake or Wapentaki. It's like an old sort of medieval council sort of. Instead of a district council, they had Wapentakis. Wapentakes. I don't know how you pronounce it. My apologies. Right, should we get it out into the glass? Coracle Micro Pub glass for this one. It has been refrigerated, in fact, whoa, it's quite lively. It's been in the fridge for a couple of days, actually, um, because we went away. Oh, sorry, can't see that on the, on the camera. Sorry. I'm, I know I've got my camera in a different position. That's because, well, I won't go there, but we're in a bit of a mess at the minute. So I, uh, I you, you get to see our living room and all of our wedding cards look lovely. Uh, right, this beer then in the glass, it's quite um, hazy. It is light blonde colour, some light bleeding through at the bottom, don't think you can pick that up on the camera. Uh, yeah, so we, uh, it's been a brilliant couple of weeks, I mean, yeah, we got married, um, and then we got a wedding present to go stay on a yacht down London, so we'd just come back from the Cotswolds, and then we were off again to London, we had a night stay on a hotel yacht, it was mad, so thank you very much, I mean, I'm just a lad from Yorkshire, I never thought I'd end up on a bloody yacht, I know I used to work on cruise ships like, but. That's different caliber. It was it was wonderful. It was amazing. We've got to put loads of um, thank yous up to people uh, personally and um, do some good uh, reviews on TripAdvisor of the wedding venue and various other places. Right, back to this beer. Sorry, I'm waffling. Right, Coracle beer glass, as you can see. Yes, it looks nice and light and hazy. Uh, it's got a big fluffy white head on it. I think there's still a bit more left in the can because it did pour quite lively. This may actually be past its best before date. Best before, yeah, June 2020. So it is past its best before. But as I said, I'd left it in my mum's house for about 18 months. I totally forgot all about it. So it's my bad, really. Um, to me, it still looks tremendous. I'm, I can see bits of sediment floating about in it. So it is a can-conditioned beer. Good move, ain't the ales. Right, we're going to get the nose in there. So we're going to give it a whiff and see what we can sniff. I'm hoping my reviews don't get interrupted. I said we're in a bit of a mess. We're waiting for a man to come round to repair our washing machine. So if my doorbell goes, I might have to cut this review very short. It smells lovely, that. It smells quite light, fruity, lemony, limey. 
bit of grapefruit in there, maybe a little bit of passion fruit. Bit of sort of wheaty malt coming through as well. I like it. It smells grand. Should we get in there? Should we get in there and give it a taste? I think we should. So bottoms up and down the hatch. Ooh. Oh, that is lovely. To say that's past its best before date, but yeah, after its best before date, even past after, same thing. Hmm. Lacey Vision time for those that love the lacing. Lace is really well, really good, thick foamy white head on it they've really done well with the carbonation there because it holds the head well yes it poured a bit lively but look at how it's holding its head it's another yorkshire brewer what can i say yorkshire breweries are smashing it out of the bag i absolutely love yorkshire brewery and i might be biased being from yorkshire originally but i like to find new yorkshire brewers and this is one of them um Ainsty ales Right, flavours. I'm just really enjoying this. It's really tasty. For a blonde ale, it's got a bit of bite to it, a bit of hoppiness, a bit of fruitiness. But it's 4%, so it's not too heavy. This is a virgin beer review, by the way. I'm six, nearly seven minutes in, I didn't say that. I've not had this beer before. That's delightful. Yet you're getting some um, real sort of citrus notes on it lemon lime um really refreshing the carbonation gives you a thicker mouthfeel than, than the actual four percent is i think that's why it's holding its head so well um it's really delight to drink bit of grapefruit on there maybe a little bit of um orange orange pith orange peel it's really really tasty 4% blonde craft ale. That is a belter. Right, let's have a look and see what the flummoxed farmer is all about. So, most of these beers do tend to be sort of characteristic of Ainsty Ales. And there he is, the flummoxed farmer. He doesn't look like a friendly chap, does he? Fred, the flummoxed farmer. So, I'll read it what it says on as he can. So, it says, brewed within the York Wapentake or Wapentaki. I'll go with Wapentake. What? Wap and take, say, in Yorkshire. Um, Yorkshire based Saint Ales was founded in 2014 by local lad Andy Herrington. Its artisan craft brewery and tap room is located in the medieval York and Ainsley Wap and Take, an award winning brewery creating distinctive beers for your delight. Enjoy. So, Flux Farmer, refreshing, fr fruity, and light, is a blonde, fruity, and refreshing session ale packed full of Challenger, Cascade, and Amarillo hops. Uh, ideal all year round and perfect when the sun comes out. And your ingredients are hops, malted barley, wheat, gluten, water, and yeast. Well, the gluten's a barley and the wheat, isn't it? Um, Ainsty Ales, that's in there, .co.uk. And they're on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram as well. Go check out Ainsty Ales. Um, I know that's the, that's the first beer that I've done from them on the channel. I've got another three to go, uh, all in the little 330 mil cans. To say that that is, because we're on August 2021 now, so this best before was June 2020, that's over a year out of date, or I don't want to say out of date, because it means like it's going to give me bad guts, it's a year after it's best before, it's fantastic, and I'm not a big follower of best before dates. I've had things before from lowcostbeer.com, which do sell sort of beer that's either coming up to its best before or after it, or sort of bankrupted stock and things like that. Go check them out, by the way, they're really good. Uh, that is phenomenal. I like that enough to give that two thumbs up. That is great. If I ever come across Ainsty Ales again when I'm up Yorkshire, especially I'll have a look out for it in draft in the craft beer bars or uh, any bars around York or Leeds maybe I'll definitely 
get myself a pint of it because that is lovely. Two thumbs up from me. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you again for another beer review right here on the Hop House. Ciao for now, people.